Hi there, signs of Taurus. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading. Sorry, yours is a little bit late compared to the others. I apologize. Um, getting into this, we're going to pull a Celtic cross with the journey of the sacred bee deck. I take upright um, cards on these, but of course I read it however um, it comes across to me. So we'll clarify with the Rider weight tarot deck. <clears throat> All right, so I've already burned a little bit of sage, so we're getting the energy all neutral here. We're gonna ask that your angels and your spirit guides join us so that the messages we get for you, Taurus, are for your uh, benefit, for the positivity. So let's look at the good things. Journey of the Sacred Bee. Journey of the Sacred Bee. Okay, bottom of the deck, the King of Cups. So an underlying, um, underlying theme, possibly could be of uh, balancing your emotions or maybe you are feeling really nice and balanced. That could be what that's signifying. It's the Hermit. Judgment. Five of Swords. Cast. Three of Wands. Wow. <clears throat> divine timing. It's divine timing for something to move forward to get on moving. We have 1010 10 in your reading. Um, make sure you can see those cards. So, yeah. Okay. So, let's see what we've got. So, the Three of Wands is the past energy it's really pointing out to the things that you have planned um the things you have planned things you've looked forward to maybe the journey starting out at the journey starting maybe something like that the start of a, or perhaps that was like you know just the knowing that that was the start of some long journey of yours. Tell me more about this uh, three of wands. So it's almost like what you expect to happen or what you expected to happen happens. No. Especially in regards to somebody maybe walking away or um, or leaving or leaving this could be you on this journey or this could be somebody else. I feel like it was like expected, whatever this is. It's like an expected energy, so it wasn't really a surprise. We have the hermit here. What's the hermit about? <clears throat> the hermit, you know, the hermit is perfectly fine to just kind of be with themselves or by themselves. Um, the hermit can live anywhere. The hermit um, takes this journey. Um, it's usually to find, you know, um, deep introspective to go inside and find out more about who you are as person. And so with that hermit, which by the way is a major arcana, so it's no little thing. It's something kind of big as an issue. The Five of Swords at the heart of the matter is feeling ah, conflicted. It's feeling conflicted. It's feeling like 
So, so what is it about? Well, it has something to do with this judgment. Okay, there's something that you're um, holding on to that makes you feel conflicted. I feel like whatever this information or um, knowledge is that you're holding on to that makes you feel conflicted or that pulls almost like a pull into feeling into a conflict. Um, I think you let go of that up there with that ten of swords. I think that that's signifying letting go of um, whatever is so painful when it comes to matters of the heart. And there may be something that you can't forgive somebody for or that you're having a hard time forgiving somebody for. It could be that we're just waiting for the right announcement, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense for you. If there's some kind of pending announcement that's coming um, with the challenge, maybe it's that. I can see this as like a really nice, though, energy. Um, kind of like just really getting to know um, you and really enjoying that time with yourself, too. Having time with yourself. So I like this. I like this energy for you. Um, you do your own research when you're the hermit. You're not necessarily um, relying on any kind of big social um, network or group to tell you anything. You make up your own mind. Hmm. All right. So let me find out more about the matters of the heart. Why is there... Um, there's inner conflict with now sometimes sometimes this can be like with what the heart desires or what the heart is um well yeah wanting at the time um okay let me let me pull some more because it could be something of this could be some kind of drama that it might be wise to just kind of avoid the drama part that might be it. And this might be the warning. Like, hey, don't believe necessarily everything that you hear. Do your own research. Because sometimes matters of the, when it comes to matters of the heart, sometimes people are trying to possibly lure you into feeling a certain way. And so, therefore, you end up conflicted, I guess. That's, that's just how I'm reading it. So, tell me more about Five of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Well, it has to do with change, changes. Wow, you even have the moon on the bottom, which is also associated with changes. Conflicted with these changes that have to move forward. Um, but you know what? When it comes to matters of the heart, the Knight of Swords is like a seize the day. Uh, Carpe diem, this is the time for this. This is the time for the heart to um, really stay focused going forward and focus the knight of swords self-initiated change so the heart wants to go forward and um experience some changes um and i don't know what that means it's going to mean different things for everybody especially with your um doing the research is kind of big here in your reading because you also have the princess of swords as how you're feeling this is you um having difficult times maybe with conversations with people or just dealing with difficult information and again there's the two swords so it seems like making a decision kind of interesting we have the peacock feathers on this because there's a lot of pride here too with that imagery You have the Knight of Disc as the um, crowning energy. This could be, uh, you know, regarding coming through for somebody or somebody coming through for you. Dependable, on a, um, honest. Um, this night, you know, most of the nights are associated with travel. Could be offered to like some kind of stable offer. Um, but it will take you places. It will take you somewhere. That's the thing with the night is that if it's the night of disc, then it, it will be um, maybe slow but steady growth when it comes to business and things like that. 
So that's a really good sign. And the Three of Cups is celebration, abundance. It's friends and family also getting together, which of course that's happening and that's no surprise. Um, but this is a celebration regarding uh, maybe some kind of project or something that has a Knight of Disc with it too. Tell us more about the Knight of Disc or the crowning energy. So I would say success is there. Oh, okay. Where's the spark? Where is your spark for what you want to create? Whenever the magician is like this, it's not that the energy is not there. It's just like that the need to feel um, motivated or inspired because even the look on this person's face, like, like the need to feel inspired um, to get these pentacles, maybe. It feels like there needs to be some kind of um, spark. Woo. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to look more. We're going to look more. Tell me about Princess of Swords, about this energy for your energy. So it's a wish granted. It's that's that's strange. So it's a knowing of a wish granted. Um, getting your wish granted. It has to do with these changes or with changes that are going to be made or that happen. Changes that will advance you on your journey to. So tell me about the Three of Cups, the celebration. The Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this celebration or reunion, it will help. It's going to help with the scales being balanced. So, yeah, I bring up about reciprocity a lot. This could be exchanging gifts, but... Usually it's like a, you help me, I help you. And, and so it's kind of evening the scales out in that sense. There's a lot of cooperation, um, teamwork, familiness coming through there. So like I say, you have 1010, um, future and outcome reminding me of, uh, of something that is come to a completion and it feels like something to celebrate with the Three of Cups. And the, um, this is, you know, a success of some sort. So tell us more about, it feels like the weight will be lifted and um, you won't have to carry as much. Or feel like overly burdened. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. The Hangman in Reverse. Done waiting. So look here, done waiting. Um, no coincidence that it's tying this. It's like no more inner conflict. You're done waiting. You're ready for the things that like you have already put in motion via your vision. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the lovers is what you're thinking about. So th this is like, I, I, what I can say about this is like the time for something from the past to whatever this is, whatever you had visual. I feel like it's a wish granted because that's coming here too. The only thing that might be uncomfortable with Taurus is, the, is some change just because of being a fixed sign. But this feels like something to me, like something you've wished for. So this is a good crossroads and that is being at the crossroads with the lovers um energy the hope or fear hope or fear either one it's being at a crossroads oh yeah okay it's wanting to be done with toxic attachments it's definitely wanting if you're dealing with somebody that has addiction issues or you have addiction issues it's about um being at a crossroads and making really good decisions when it comes to um staying away from those things that can sabotage ourselves this is a that is a good sign because that's what you're thinking about the progress um you've not ignored the hard stuff to get there i feel like you've really given it your all you've put everything into this whatever this is that you you know that you've thought up of in, even in the past 
I think you kind of knew that there were some things to get through that were not going to be comfortable. I think you knew that something ended up having to go flat before it resuscitated, if that makes sense. Like something had to be um, over and then, but dealt with. And it's coming across to me as something not so bad, but as more of a, I'm carrying these um, battle scars as my achievement like what I've been through look what I've been <laughs> look what all you've been through and what you've come through because you pull out I mean you know at the end of the day that the chariot here is um really your outcome and it's it's saying no matter how much crap you had to go through and no matter how bad things hurt um you end up with the chariot energy you end up on your way to a victory and there's something about the mentality here Taurus there's something about the mentality of giving it your all and going through the really hard ups and downs but still fighting for that and still realizing it's part of the journey it makes this victory like that much sweeter I don't know it's got it's just got a really good feel to it um Travel, travel plans um, could have really been changing tra travel plans too. I would think that could be something, a change of travel plans or something like that with the chariot. I'm dealing with um, a cancer energy. Two of swords, it's your decision. Yeah, look, see, I thought this, this is the princess of swords or page of swords, but I thought it looked kind of like that. So you really do have um, huge decisions a huge decision. It's almost like choosing what side. There is a peaceful resolution to the outcome of this. There's a peaceful resolution, but you have to decide, you know, which side, you know, which side am I weighing towards the most? Like, which side makes me ethically feel like I'm in the right spot? And I think that that is probably going to do it for your reading. Wow, it was a really good reading. I didn't know I went on that long. Um, let's pull some advice cards, though, for you. Just keep at it. Um, keep at it. It's good. It's a good It's a good reading. It's full of lots of blessings and wish granted. And you know what I mean. All that good stuff. But it feels like it's all to help um, to help the scales be balanced. And, and that, that it does. That it does, Taurus. 34, Source. Your connection to Source is the light and the love that shines through you and leads the way. Now, honestly, I don't think I've ever pulled this card in a reading. Ever, ever. From this deck. It's just one of the ones that doesn't always come out. So, yeah, you're probably very connected to Source energy. The source, God, whatever you want to call it. Automatic negative thoughts, yes. Yeah, so that's that behavior that becomes um, like a habit. And you can get into the habit of trying, the moment you think of a negative thought, just already counterbalance it with some kind of positive thinking. So it says you're learning to take charge of the thoughts you choose to give life to. Um, because these are the things that, may, that manifest, right? what we think about these those are the things that manifest so that's what you're gonna have to maybe pay attention to and it might help so with some advice 31 automatic negative thoughts so controlling your thought or not necessarily even controlling it I feel like saying more like balance it um 43 and it's a mirror education education is an important part of your soul's development at this time yeah, well, and with the hard things, we learn that, don't we? Oh. Okay, I also have 17, nourishment. You're being asked to take time out for self-care. Yeah, do your own research, especially when it comes to what you're eating, drinking, and things like that. Yeah, so nourishment. Advice for nourishment is um, pay attention to what we're eating, drinking. Um, seven, universal flow. It's time for you to slow down, breathe, and time to smell the roses. Hmm. 58, parting ways. It may be time to move on from this person or situation. 
And that's going to be different for everybody. Some of you all are going on your own way when it comes to um, like business or something like that. 66, hibernation. Your soul needs time alone for meditation and rest. Maybe you're just going to like get away just to get away, have vacation for yourself, a retreat. 67, spiritual growth. You're currently experiencing a lesson required for your spiritual evolution. So guys, that's what I've got for your reading. Thanks for joining me. Taurus, I do offer private readings. If you're interested in that, check out the links below. Bye-bye.